Hi, it's MJ with iFixit, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the proximity sensor in the new iPhone 4S. The iPhone is an amazing device that is stuffed to the gills with different sensors. And while we always make note of the different sensors when we're doing a teardown, we don't always talk about their specific function or role within the device. So we thought with the release of the 4S, we would highlight a specific sensor that doesn't get a whole lot of attention, the infrared LED proximity sensor. For years, the iPhone, just like tons of other smartphones, has had this proximity sensor whose job it is to tell the phone just how close the device is to your face. This whole time, it's been bombarding your head with infrared light the entire time you're talking on the phone. Fortunately, infrared light is totally harmless, but I'm sure there are some people sitting around in tinfoil hats who might try to convince you otherwise. The infrared proximity sensor largely goes unnoticed, primarily because it's invisible to the naked eye. You have to rely on the magical powers of a digital camera just to see the sensor in action. Even trickier, you can't use every digital camera because many high-end SLR cameras actually have IR filters built into them. We had to use a webcam to show you the IR light emitting from this iPhone. So what's different about this proximity sensor and the iPhone 4S? In all previous generations of the iPhone, the proximity sensor would only turn on when something like a phone or a Skype call was placed, and then it would turn off when the call was disconnected. But we noticed when the iPhone 4S came out that our proximity sensor was working overtime. Every time the screen was activated, the proximity sensor would kick on. Take a look. We thought this was kind of strange. Why would this new iPhone need to know how far away you are from the device at all times? And then we thought about it for a while and we remembered the iPhone 4S's newest feature, Siri. Since Siri can be activated just by raising the phone, it's important that the phone knows how far away it is from your face at all times. Mystery solved. If you are craving more details about the iPhone 4S proximity sensor, head over to the blog post about it at ifixit.com. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest teardowns and repair videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com ifixit, and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.